this one, I did not draw one pencil line. I used, I found a neat little projector, so I tried just projecting it from my computer and drawing in the darks. So I started with just the very, very dark areas, mm -hmm. and then let that dry, put it away, printed out a photograph of the actual alley in Chinatown, and then I went back, put in the gray levels, then I put in the sky, which usually people do first. I, I don't do that anymore. And then I threw water on it and just let it run to see what would happen. Any of the buildings, when we turned around to come off of the bridge, you could not see a building. It was great, and we had we had our cameras in little bag, mm, yeah, Ziploc bags and stuff. And then we we went down under the bridge, and then oh, it was gorgeous down there. You couldn't see the Manhattan Bridge from the Brooklyn Bridge. Wow! Right at the end of this is the West Side Highway. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it took me three weeks, but I only painted like a couple hours a day. Yeah. And this one I like. This is an alley down in Lower Manhattan. I love, I love the alley shots. And when the light comes through, it you have to go. You can't just go and photograph something and say, "Okay, I'm going to piece that." I go and I find these things four or five times. I go in the morning. I go at night. I go in the afternoon. So that sometimes the light, you realize the light's better at one time of day than another. So this one I have a lot of shots of this alley. I've chosen not to do a, a big frame. A, it's too expensive, and B, I can trade these in and out mm -hmm. the size because I paint generally one or two sizes of painting. These are called Swiss clips. You can get them at any art store. I've found a way to attach them in the middle of the side as well, which keeps them from it bowing. But it gives great balance. Yeah. And then you're looking at the painting, you're not mm -hmm. looking at a big right. frame. Right. It's a process where you almost learn, you learn what the painting should look like by the steps you do to get there, rather than trying to paint the photograph. Mm -hmm. The photograph mm -hmm. is just the beginning mm -hmm. step. I'm usually working on three or four pieces at a time. Mm -hmm. I start several, and sometimes it takes me a really long time to finish it, because I don't work on it. I may put it away and do three or four and right. then come back to it. I have one that I've been working on for over a year. Yeah. Well, it's a be there's more mood. Yeah, there's um, more I mean, mood. you can do a happy, sunny day, but some way mm -hmm. it doesn't have the power that, mm -hmm. it doesn't have the grit and the ability to drip and splash. You know, you're more inclined to do something that's more stark uh -huh. as a landscape. Uh, you know, Could I just point out the watching her work, watching her work change and keep on, she keeps on reinventing herself partially. Uh, she used to be very, fairly tight. Excuse me. And lovely sketches and stuff, but fairly tight. Now, now it's gotten, now it's gotten very loose. I watch her throw stuff and wash stuff out and change. You know, all her, all her stuff has wonderful I know. Light. It's her Yes. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh yeah. A lot of people from well, a lot of different. turning up is it's you. Oh, yeah. Aww. Turning up. Right. Would have I been mean, here sooner I mean, when I was you know, trapped <laughs> under an awning. Literally, we got wet to see your show. Oh man, I'm glad the watercolors were already here. I would have been in big trouble. <laughs> They would have looked totally different than where the, although, was on the although website. Although, Paul, I've brought interesting. Yeah, he would have gone, oh, that's great. Don't touch it. 